morning everyone so as you can see Lincoln hasn't woken up yet today um, so I've come down you might be able to hear my coffee machine in the background I'm making some coffee um, I've opened the blinds on top of Lincoln oh, that one there those two and um, yeah he's um he's out cold usually he wakes up like as soon as I come down the stairs or he's already awake and he's waiting for me so I don't know I don't know what's going on with him this morning little sleepy head but he is just so comfy in his bed with me <sighs> He's gonna wake up. He hasn't done this in ages. It used to be like this when we first got him away. He would sleep for ages after I got up. But I think he got used to my body clock because I like to wake up like super early. But um, yeah, he he needs to sleep. Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Oh, was that creepy, my baby? Oh, hello, cute boy. Hello. Oh, so sweet. I gotta cuddle him, guys. Hey, sweet boy. Have you had enough of your morning nap? Can we go for your run now? Hey, sweet thing. Hey. He's like, I want to be sleeping. I don't want to go running. Oh, he's got morning breath, you guys. Do you want to go for a walk? Huh? Hey, little sleepy head. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Huh? Wake up, little nugget. Let's go. Come. Come on. Oh, mom, I don't want to get up. <laughs> Come, we're gonna go and have fun, my baby. Do you wanna go have fun? Hmm? <laughs> the whole day is happening without you, my boy. Come, let's go get it. Come on then, let's go. Do you want to come? Okay, this might look like I'm being mean, but he does this every single day when we leave. Come on. Once we get up this hill, he gets his, his energy going. There we go, now you want to go, don't you? Let's go, come on. Come on. <laughs> hey. 
Come on, kick into high gear now. So my plan this morning was to go running up that way. But as you can see, the cows are like right in the middle. So I think I'm gonna go along this edge and up to the field where they normally are and then we'll go running in there. What do you think of these cows, Link? Hey? Let's just stay away from them, shall we? Lincoln, don't look at what's happening over there, my boy. You're too young. Problem. The cows have moved right in front of the gate. So I can't get out. <laughs> huh. Interesting. What do we do? I see a little gate. Fingers crossed. We can go through that gate. The one day I decide to do a day in the life and there's drama. <laughs> Unscripted. <laughs> so this is the little fence. Uh, the little gate, and I'm not sure where it leads. Huh. Okay, so I got Lincoln through that. Please be little road on the other side of this, and not someone's garden. Oh my god, what if it's someone's garden? Lincoln, let me go first. Um, I see garages, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we can come up here. I have no idea where we are though. So we're in suburbia, <laughs> so we're fine. Um, I still don't know where we are, but I'm just gonna walk and see. I have a, an idea which direction our house is. I don't think it'll be too hard to find, but at least we're away from the cars now. Hey, Link. So. I will walk, <laughs> it took us like an extra 40 minutes, uh, but now we're on the road to our home and um, I just wanted to tell you because some of the bulldog groups that I am in, they, it seems to be, some people have like a misconception that English bulldogs are very common in England, um, but they're not. In fact, the whole time I've been here, apart from Lincoln, I've seen two. And so whenever we go out walking, you know, where there are a lot of people, we're pretty much 99% of the time we're going to be stopped and somebody wants to give him a cuddle. And um, if there's tourists, he's getting his picture taken. So he just met a really lovely man who actually pulled over, <laughs> stopped his vehicle just so he could meet Lincoln and give Lincoln a cuddle. Um, so I thought I would just share that with you guys because yeah, Lincoln gets a lot of special treatment. Are you just gonna rest now for a bit? His dad's trying to get him to drink some water, but he's he's assumed the post-walk position. 
So he'll be like this for about half an hour while he'll sleep. And then we'll get his breakfast ready for him. So Lincoln's had his nap and you can see he's like ready for breakfast now. So they're gonna make his food for him. So I've got it all here. This is his raw food, which I'll be honest, he does not like. So we're just trying to <laughs> Are you hungry? It's coming. So I'm trying to get to the end of this raw food and then I will make him his own. I'm, I'm going to make it myself basically because getting him to eat this has been quite a nightmare. I have to hide it. Are you so hungry? And then here is his veggie mix that I uh, made for him last night and I have it ready for the next few feeds. And he loves it. So basically in here I've got some sweet potato, some butternut squash, some carrots, some peas, some broccoli. Are you starving? Is it all that running away from cows that we did? It's coming. And then what I found last night as well is he just loves the, um, the stock from this. So I've been um, giving him that because it's a nice cheeky way to get him to drink some more water. So mix this all up for him. Okay. And then I got some coconut oil. Which I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him two spoonfuls of this today. There we go. He loves coconut oil. And I'm gonna mix that all in. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, which I haven't prepared yet, is I'm gonna cut up some apple. And I'm gonna put the apple in there as well. So I've put the apple in and now it's ready to go. Come Chunky. So come over here. Let's move this. Wait, you gotta sit, my boy. Sit. Oh, you're so good. There we go. There's your food. He doesn't like it if I'm too close when he eats for some reason. It's nap time again. And for some reason, he's chosen the floor, pretty much under the table. It's a very tiring job being this cute, and it requires a lot of napping. So it's time for Lincoln to go outside and he always likes to bring a little toy with him. So today's toy of choice is the grubber ball. It changes every day. <laughs> Come on then. Looking for a good spot. Once he's done, you guys, I always have to go pick up the toy. He just brings it, drops it, does what he needs to do, and then I gotta bring the toy back inside. The um, grubber ball actually lives in timeout most of the time because it makes Lincoln crazy. I've just put it up there and he knows I have. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you want to go resume napping? Hmm? Come on, let's go. He's drinking that um, veggie broth that I showed you. And as you can see, he's had some apple, which is all over the floor. Is that yummy, big boy? 
<laughs> We're about halfway through the day now, mister. Hey? Oh, you need to get some more sleep in. Lincoln's least favorite time of the day. Does not enjoy having his little face wiped. Oh, but he's so sweet, my little boy. been using this colloidal silver on his face for a few days now and hoping that we'll see a nice um, difference soon. Oh you so sweet. You so sweet my little baby. Okay. Aww. Now we just gotta clean your ears and then you're done. You like this cart, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's so leaf. <laughs> so it's almost Duncan's dinner time. I'm just having something to eat and watching some TV. So he's just chilling here next to me, waiting patiently. Hey, you're such a good little boy. I was out for a couple of hours today, so he was home with his dad. And now his dad's gone out, so now he's with me. <clears throat> he doesn't spend very much time on his own, this little guy. And he likes it that way. Hey, you like it that way, don't you? Okay, so I've cooked Lincoln's dinner. He's been waiting patiently. Come, Chunky. So it's bedtime, and as you know, or have ever had a bully, 
slobber goes everywhere. So when we try to swiffer in the evenings, it's all nice and fresh and clean in the morning. Oh, you can see all the slobber. <laughs> oh, I thank you. There you go. That was the last spot I needed to do, Chunky. Hey. Okay. Oh. Now comes the fun part of trying to get him into bed. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. This way. <laughs> Link. Go. Yeah. You know what it's time for. <laughs> Lincoln. Maybe we'll just give us a little bum a little nudge. See if that... <laughs> in here, in here. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay, here. Try it. See, this is why he doesn't go to bed. He's bribing him every night. Come on. Come on. So now he knows if he doesn't go to bed. Look, he, he goes will, like, he does exactly. He'll get a treat. Smackers. Midnight snack. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Is that nice? That's his favorite snack too, so no wonder he's not going to bed unprompted. He likes this factory. Unbribed, I mean. Mm -hmm. Hey little chun. Is your little room nice and clean, Smelly? Oh. We just oh shit, we've <coughs> fallen. Oh got it. We just need to put his fresh water in. And then he's ready for his Betty buys. <laughs> oh, he's so good. <laughs> your floor smells nice, but your bed still smells a little bit nasty. Just like you like it, huh? Smells of being covered. Is it just right, Lester? <laughs> Aww. Night, night. <laughs> we love you, little Link. Night, Duncan. Night, night. <laughs> He's ignoring us now because of the video. He doesn't like it. <laughs> night, night, big boy. Sweet dreams. Mm.